There's a new challenger in the electric vehicle market, one that might just make Tesla glance over its shoulder. Led by serial entrepreneur Lei Jun, Xiaomi may have the potential to turn the electric vehicle market upside down. Lei Jun's story begins on December 16, 1969, in Xiantao, Hubei, China. From his early days, Lei exhibited a keen interest in technology and entrepreneurship, a passion that would eventually lead him to the forefront of the tech industry. But who is Lei Jun, and how did he guide Xiaomi to become a world-renowned brand? The Serial Entrepreneur Before Xiaomi, Lei Jun was a serial entrepreneur. In 1992, he joined Kingsoft as an engineer, rising to CEO by 1998. His tenure saw the company flourish, eventually going public in 2007. But Lei's ambitions stretched beyond software. He was instrumental in founding Joyo.com, an online bookstore which Amazon acquired in 2004 for $75 million, marking one of the early successes in his career. The Birth of Xiaomi 2010 marked a turning point in Lei's career with the founding of Xiaomi. The company started with a simple yet powerful vision to create high-quality, affordable electronics accessible to millions. Lei Jun's philosophy was revolutionary. Prioritize user experience, involve customers in the development process, and sell products at near manufacturing costs. This user-centric approach would become a cornerstone of Xiaomi's success. A man of the people. Lei Jun is often seen as a man of the people. He is known for his approachable persona, often engaging directly with Xiaomi's fans and customers on social media and in public forums. This approach not only endeared him to many, but also allowed Xiaomi to build a community of loyal followers, a strategy that many argue was key to the company's explosive growth. Philanthropy and Beyond Beyond his business achievements, Lei Drin is also known for his philanthropic efforts. He has made significant donations to education and environmental projects in China. In 2021, Lei Jun announced that he would donate a substantial portion of his wealth, valued at billions of rian, to charity, focusing on initiatives that support education and scientific research. Lei Jun's Inspirations and Management Style Lei Jun often cites Steve Jobs as a major inspiration, and this influence is evident in his meticulous attention to product design and marketing. However, Lei adapts Jobs' philosophy to the Chinese market, emphasizing affordability without compromising quality. His management style blends ambition with humility, inspiring his team to innovate while staying grounded. Now, Lei Jun is among the top five tech billionaires in China, and he continues to shape the way people use technology. Enter Xiaomi, a name synonymous with smartphones, smart home devices, and an array of electronics that blend quality with affordability. Founded in 2010 by Lei Jun and a team of entrepreneurs, Xiaomi quickly rose to prominence in the smartphone world. But it's their latest venture that's catching everyone's attention, electric vehicles. Before we delve into Xiaomi's electric ambitions, let's take a quick look at its journey. Xiaomi started as a software company, creating MIUI, an Android-based OS, before launching their first smartphone in 2011. Fast forward to today, and they're a global tech giant, with products ranging from wearables to home appliances. Under the leadership of Lei Jun, Xiaomi has been known for innovation and aggressively expanding into new markets. And now, Xiaomi is gearing up to enter the electric vehicle market with its upcoming EV, named the SU7. While details are still under wraps, Xiaomi's entry into the EV space isn't just a new product line, it's a statement. Xiaomi is known for disrupting markets, and they're eyeing to do just that against giants like Tesla. On March 28, 2024, Xiaomi launched their first ever EV, the SU7. In a move that's electrifying the industry, Xiaomi has officially joined the race for electric vehicle supremacy. Following a captivating presentation by founder Lei Jun, Xiaomi began accepting orders for their pioneering EV, the SU7, with prices that are sure to turn heads, ranging from about $30,000 to $40,000. The anticipation was nothing short of phenomenal, with Xiaomi receiving a staggering 50,000 orders within just 27 minutes after opening sales. This launch is not just about a new car, it's a bold statement in a market that's becoming increasingly competitive, with China leading the charge as the world's largest market for EVs. 
Thanks to government subsidies, China is at the forefront of the EV revolution, with a myriad of new players vying for dominance. Most sales have been domestic, but as Chinese automakers push into the international waters with more affordable models, they're starting to challenge established European, Japanese, and American brands. Lei Jun's ambitions are sky high, aiming to position Xiaomi among the world's top five automakers within the next 15 to 20 years. Making cars is challenging, but succeeding, according to Lei, is cool. And with the EV and hybrid market share in China expected to rise sharply, the competition is heating up. Lei Jun boasted about the SU7 superior performance over the Tesla in many categories, though he humbly acknowledges that Xiaomi still has miles to go before it can outpace Porsche. Xiaomi is not just about creating an electric car, it's about revolutionizing how our vehicles integrate with our lives. Imagine a human car home ecosystem where your car communicates with your phone and home appliances, making every journey seamlessly connected. This integration strategy could change the game, making Xiaomi a continuous presence in our daily lives. With their extensive range of products from mobile phones to smart home devices, Xiaomi is already a household name. Now they're adding transportation to the mix. As a newcomer, Xiaomi is navigating uncharted waters, balancing its tech prowess with the steep learning curve of car manufacturing. Analysts predict a challenging road ahead, with Xiaomi's EV division expected to face initial losses due to high marketing and promotional costs. Expanding globally, Xiaomi and other Chinese automakers might face political headwinds, including investigations into subsidies and data security concerns. Yet, Xiaomi's resilience is well documented, having previously overcome challenges including being blacklisted in the US only to be removed after clearing up misunderstandings. So does the Xiaomi SU7 have what it takes to rival Tesla? While Xiaomi has the advantage of a vast ecosystem of smart devices and a reputation for quality at a competitive price, Tesla's dominance comes from its innovation in electric powertrains, battery technology, and self-driving capabilities. However, Xiaomi's strength in software, the Internet of Things, and its massive user base could play a crucial role in its EV strategy. While it's still early days and the road to rivaling Tesla is long and challenging, Xiaomi's foray into electric vehicles is definitely something to watch. Will Xiaomi shake up the EV market the way it did with smartphones? Only time will tell, but one thing's for sure, the electric vehicle space just got a lot more interesting.